Hey guys, my name is Crystal. I'm going to be doing a quick oracle reading for you guys. I'm um, just going to see, I have like six oracle decks. So I'm going to pull a few cards from each deck and just see what pops out. Not ready right now, but it was by the book. Having to do things step by step, kind of doing things in order. I don't know why I put that back, but I feel like... Okay. <laughs> I was going to do two, but we got Thinker, Milk and Honey, Yang. I feel like things are starting to work out for you. Um, Things are starting to, um, like your dreams are starting to come true, or you're starting to reap the benefits of whatever situation that you're in. You also have Thinker, which means you may be an air sign, or it could just mean that, you know, you've been doing a lot of thinking, a lot of um figuring stuff out, and I feel like by doing that and by thinking so much, I feel like you're finally being able to... um see where you want to go in life, you know what I mean? I feel like this is helping you get in, obviously, realizing what you need to do, realizing your dreams, and going for it, and actually reaping the benefits from it. So maybe, like, opening a business, or starting to do something that you love, you know what I mean? You have your commitment is being tested, and look at the bigger picture. So if you feel like things are not working out for you, and it's like, you know, every time you're doing something, you feel like you're hitting, like, a dead end, or whatever, it's just like the universe is testing you to see how bad you want it, okay? And it's like, look at the bigger picture don't give up there is other there is something more to keep on going for so this might be another thing why you're thinking so much you might be stressing a lot because things are not working out for you but just know with the yang card it's like the ace of cups it's a promise from the universe to be able to live out your dreams so keep on doing whatever you're doing because you are on the right you know direction you have lotus self-regeneration purity and enlightenment so you may be very intuitive with the thinker card and the lotus card saying enlightenment so maybe you're coming more um open more aware um of your powers your spiritual powers <clears throat> divine masculine this means like kind of putting your foot down and like doing the work that needs to be done becoming more um like um how you want to call it adventurous and like more open and more like um stern and doing things like like I feel like maybe you have too much divine masculine I mean too much divine feminine so you're like too caring too considerate too like nurturing and like sometimes you just gotta like even that out and not give too much of yourself if you're not getting it back okay you have Sagittarius so you may be dealing with a Sagittarius you got Sagittarius twice or you may be a Sagittarius Sagittarius here Sagittarius here. So it says adventurous, independent, and humorous. I didn't even notice that. So I definitely feel like this is calling you to be more adventurous and stop staying in so much or stop like holding yourself back from actually being able to move forward because I feel like there is way more things out there for you to see, especially with look at look at the bigger picture. Okay, you got belonging. I'm gonna read this one to you. They're not too long. And then Loyalty. Okay, so let's see. 41. Also, it's a general reading, so take whatever resonates for you and leave what doesn't for other people, okay? I don't know if I said that, but... Okay, so belonging says, come and enter the house of night for you. For when you choose this symbol, you have joined us in this community of beauty, friendship, and secrets only shared and known among my chosen ones. You are chosen to belong. This symbol also tells you that you are in the right place right now. You are home. Be at home inside yourself. Learn to be confident in your own skin. When you choose this symbol, know that I, Nix, Goddess of Night, have chosen you. Then you have loyalty. All right. And just know that you are in the right spot at the right time. You know, wherever we are in life, it's like we're meant to be there. No matter how hard it is, no matter how good it is, like we're supposed to be, you know, be there. It's all set out. It's all planned, okay? The universe plans all this stuff for us. We're just living it, okay? Then you have loyalty. Do you know the story of a beautiful red vampire who saw the good in another and remained steadfast in her love against all odds? Loyalty is tested at times, and you may be asked to assess whether others deserve your loyalty. Sometimes you find yourself in a position where it's difficult to speak up for another person, a cause, or even for yourself. Now is the time to be faithful to your best qualities and leave the rest behind. This is a true test of character. I know that you will choose rightly, stand up for what you believe, and be loyal to only what is true and good. So maybe, like I said, I feel like you're putting too much in, and you're not getting enough back. So that could be loyalty, so it can be in any type of form. Staying focused, look at the bigger picture, be adventurous, live out your, you know, your dreams, milk and honey, you're going to get, you know, 
the gold at the end of the rainbow. Just know that all your hard work is going to pay, pay off. So stay focused. Don't go off track, all right? Don't allow things that are not working out for you make you think that it's not meant for you. Maybe just now isn't the time because other things need to be done first. You know what I mean? So don't give up. Stay focused. Keep your mind. Keep your eye on the prize. Let me say keep your mind on your goals and do not give up. Uncovering treasure. Didn't I just say that? Beneath, or I said you're going to get the pot of gold, but it's the same thing. Uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty. So just like I said, like you don't see it coming, but it is there. It is coming for you. Things are going to start popping up for you. And it's going to bring a lot of happiness and abundance. Something that you're going to be happy that all, you know, everything is working for you. Then you have cross and bridges. It is time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. So release things that no longer serve you. That way you have more space in your life for other things to come in. Bigger and better things. And I'm going to pull some of these. We got Fury. Coherence. Okay, so Fury says, Passion turned inward upon itself can manifest in the form of anger, rage, vengeance, or fury. Healing is needed. This is like a main thing here too. Life has been painful and you have been more wronged. Karmic justice must come as it is meant to. Now is the time to go within and seek answers. Avoid the trapping of temperamental people. Rise above the war around you. And then you have coherence, which says, like attracts like you are becoming coherent to the vibrations of others. Emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and even physically, you are being, you are sharing the vibrations of others. Be selective with who you allow in your sphere. Protect yourself from toxicity. Thoughts and emotions can bleed through. We are all interconnected. Energy is shared. Okay, so I'm going to pull some tarot. Actions and advice. Allow this to end. The Ten of Wands is definitely an ending of all the struggles that you're going through. And healing is definitely needing to take process, take um, place. <laughs> because I feel like whatever you were doing was like way too much for you, okay? You were like overworking, overgiving, overdoing it. And it's like, you know what I mean? Now it's the time for you to finally make a decision for you to just keep on moving on and allow this part to end. So that way you can finally start this new beginning. Um, whatever it is that you are being tested by is just, um, the universe just wants to throw things in our way to try to see how bad we want something. So if things ain't working out for us, maybe it's just like, you know, it isn't ready. So it needs a little bit more time to be prepared for us. And then when we finally get it, it's like complete and then we're able to enjoy it. You know what I mean? We don't have any more work to do because it's already done. So just take it like that. Try not to get your hopes up or try to not to like let things get you down, let me say. <laughs> And yeah, so that's what I got for you guys. Um, see at the bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands. Because I always check the bottom of the decks. Ace of Wands. A new start is coming in for you, okay? The beginning, maybe a new business, a new love, a new career, something like that. Something that you really like is going to be happening for you. You don't see it yet, but it's coming, okay? That's what I got for you guys. Thank you for watching.